Hey guys and welcome back to the United Star and there's there's something that shouldn't have happened that has happened now and that is an injury crisis. I mean this was the time where we didn't want one. We're just we're just going to be facing tougher opposition starting from this coming weekend where you know we're first um, we're, we're going to first be playing our game against Leicester then Atlanta uh, after which we then have Liverpool uh, the list goes on. If I'm not mistaken, there's City, there's Spurs. You know, the Champions Champions League is going on, and we've been hit with another injury. Obviously, Maguire was injured before the international break, but in the in the final, um, in which France played uh, Spain, uh, in the first half, Rafael Varane also got an injury. So the official news that has come out is that United has confirmed that Rafael uh, Varane will be out for a few weeks with the groin injury sustained while playing for France. Maguire is recovering from the calf problem, but unlikely to make the Leicester City game on Saturday. So, when we look at the Saturday game, it leaves Solskjaer with just three options, which is Lindelof, Bai, and Jones. I think it's more or less clear that Lindelof and Bai would be our starting centre-back uh, partnership with both Varane and Maguire gone, which uh, could be seen as an opportunity for both of them to grab. You know, you're getting a chance to play in the first team with an injury. Well, due to due to the injuries that are out there, but at the same time, I believe it's going to be a major miss in those games. You know, against Liverpool, against uh, maybe even Atlanta for that for that matter. Um, and who knows? We even may see Phil Jones get a get an appearance in a Manchester United uh, jersey. But this this goes down to the fact that there's a lot of pressure on the manager now. We are now injury struck with these with with these two players. You know. The way uh, Liverpool fans were saying when Van Dijk was injured for the enti entirety of their season, that caused them to, you know, have a fall back. Could we see something similar like that at Manchester United, where you know, with both our first choice centre backs being out for maybe um, a few weeks, which could be defined as anything ranging from two to eight. I, um, what what's next in the in in the defensive um, you know category for Manchester United? Because if I have to think about it, um, since the season has started, even after the introduction of Varane, Varane entered, it made made me feel that Maguire was a bit shaky after that. Um, Varane Lindelof happened. We've, we've not managed to create that many clean sheets. We've always been conceding. Uh, does the lindelof Bai partnership change anything? That aggressiveness that Bai brings along, he does... He does complement Lindelof in terms of pace. Bailly definitely has that pace and Eric Bailly can run down. But at the same time, you know, I, uh, Prashant keeps saying this and I totally agree with him. Uh, he is a walking red card. Um, he reminds me a lot of uh, Rojo when it comes to the tackles. So, in terms of, in terms of our defensive uh, nature and our defensive issues, things have just gotten from bad to worse with the Varane injury now. Um, we're obviously playing Leicester City next, who are, who aren't doing that well either at the moment. Neither is Manchester United, but this 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 injury to uh, two of our key players is going to put a lot of pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And we would like to hear what you have to think about it. You know, do you do you see Jones starting over either Lindelof or Bay? I mean, the good part is we do have depth in the squad. Um, could you see maybe a youngster popping up all of a sudden? How do you think Solskjaer should handle the situation? How do you think fans should judge Solskjaer during the situation? And how important do you think um, missing out on Varane for a couple of weeks is going to be? So do let us know in the comments below. Do like, share and subscribe. But until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.